Do you want to take your kids fishing but don't know where to start? This video is for you. Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Fish Talk. Read it and weep, it's 5 Minute Fish Talk. Yeah, we're back here in the 5 Minute Fish Talk studio and guess what, we've got 5 minutes on this timer here and you know what that means. Boop, it's time to get real. We're talking about such an important subject today. I don't understand how it's taken us like 40 episodes to get to this subject, but here we are. Why is it so important to get kids fishing at an early age? Why is it so important to teach them how to fish? Well, in my opinion, not only are they going to have fun, which is obviously important, but they're also going to learn to respect the outdoors, the environment. And for me, being kind of a conservationist and wanting to protect our natural resources and our beautiful, beautiful earth that God created for us, I think it's important for kids to get involved with the outdoors at an early age. I hope you're with me. Regardless, what's my experience? I'm 25 years old. It's not like I have kids. I'm not near mature enough for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I have taken family friends uh, fishing, I've taken kids fishing, um, and you know, it's, it's one of those things where I've kind of learned over the years that it's not exactly easy and it can be incredibly intimidating. And believe me, um, I've, when I've went fishing with kids in the past, there's been times where it's like they had no fun at all. But I've learned from that. And that's why today I have a few things that I think you should not only remember, but then at the end of this video, we're gonna talk about some of the techniques you can use to give yourself the best odds at making sure the kids catch fish and have a good time. So first and foremost, remember these few things. One, it's not about you. I mean, we've all, we've all gone out there, brought a kid fishing or whatever, and then it's like, game time, baby, let's go catch a bass, and then you just kind of forget about it. No, it's not about you, it's about them. It's about having fun. It's about them having fun, first and foremost. It's not about you catching fish. It's also not about catching a big fish. It's about just maybe catching fish or just spending time outside. Um, so another thing that you're going to need to remember is to have patience because quite honestly um, People don't have the skill set you have and when they're at a younger age They certainly don't have the skill set that you have and so they get out there and it, you're gonna get tangles You're gonna get it up in a tree. You're gonna break off so on and so forth You just got to look past those things. It's not that big of a deal But then my last piece of just kind of things to remember here is you really need to focus on the total outdoor experience. Total, just focus on having fun. Don't focus on the fish, and here's why. If you're just laser focused on catching a fish or having the kid catch a fish and they don't do it, they're not gonna have fun. They're gonna wanna go home right away and then they're gonna have a bad taste in their mouth for next time so they won't wanna go fishing again. If you focus just more on having fun outside, for example, when I was taking a coworker's um, kids fishing, they were just chasing you know, turtles around, looking at birds, so on and so forth. They were enjoying all of Mother Nature's gifts, not just the fish. Yes, they caught fish, they caught little bluegill, and that was a lot of fun for them. They witnessed a big bass being caught, and that was a lot of fun for them. But they also were having fun going and running around and chasing animals and petting dogs. Make it about just being outside, right? Okay, so let's talk about, let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's talk about lures to throw, techniques to use to ensure that you have a chance of catching some fish with the kiddos. First and foremost, I'm going to start with kind of the, the most easy stuff all the way up to some of the stuff that might be a little bit better for someone that's a little bit more coordinated. Maybe he's a teenager, maybe he or she is a, you know, eight or nine year old that can kind of handle a fishing rod and kind of twitch it and all that stuff. Um, but first and foremost, let's talk just kind of like live bait. Um, obviously the old worm and bobber trick is gonna work. That's going on my hook for sure. But one thing that I think actually might work better when it comes to just little bluegill that are about that big that are just kind of nipping at the worm, it's kind of hard to set the hook on those fish. Half the time I can't even hook those fish. So what you're gonna find is that bobber goes under, it's not there. Bobber goes under, it's not there. And then all of a sudden after the bobber goes under maybe 20 times you eventually catch a fish. That's because a worm's this big, a bluegill is only eating like this much of it. So one thing that I've found actually works a little bit better is some of these like Berkeley gulp. They're called, they're like little maggots. And so they're just really, really small. They basically fit directly on the hook. So where if a fish eats it, it pretty much gets hooked. And not only that, these things smell really bad and they attract the heck out of fish. I don't know what it is about them, but they work really well. So that's kind of one of those like hidden tips that I have for you that I think will increase your odds. The other thing to do is you know, if you want to use artificial lures, if you want to use something to where they're not touching a worm, a couple of the things that I would like to use is just a really, really small grub lure. Um, just really, really tiny with a tiny, tiny jig head. Um, if they can't cast it, if they're having a really hard time casting something like that, you can actually put a bobber on top of it, another little trick here, and basically cast it out, let it sink, and then just kind of slowly drag it in or just slowly reel it in. 
those bluegill will attack the heck out of it and you can catch a lot of fish that way too and then on top of that the kids you know might have a little bit more fun being able to reel and stuff like that so that might be another thing as the kiddos get a little bit older and everything you know what i'm going to say is you know a ned rig is one of the best lures for beginners to use it's not only good for advanced fishermen but it's also great holy cow that's the first episode of five minute fish talk in what like 10 episodes that i've actually went five minutes sheesh living up to its name am i right hey if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If I missed something that you feel is valuable, drop it in the comments below. Otherwise, have yourself a fantastic weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next time.